chapter 5, Mishnah 4. This Mishnah describes the festivities themselves. Pious men and men of good deeds would dance before them, i.e. the people who came to watch, juggling flaming torches in their hands. And they would say words of song and praise before them. Then Levim played harps, lyres, cymbals, trumpets, and countless other musical instruments. While standing on the 15 steps that led down from the Israelites' courtyard to the women's courtyard, which corresponded to the 15 songs of ascent that are on the Book of Palms, Psalms, and on which the Levim stood with musical instruments and chatted words of song. The Simcha Beis HaShoeva continued through the night until the time arrived for the procession to the Shiloh Spring, Shiloh Spring, to draw the water for the Nisuch Hamayim. The Mishnah describes how the procession began. Two Kohanim stood in the upper gate at the top of the 15 steps that led down from the Israelites' courtyard to the women's courtyard, and they had two trumpets in their hands. When the announcer called out, they blew a tekiah, one long note, and a teruah, a set of three short notes, and a tekiah on their trumpets, and they began to go down the steps. When they reached the tenth step, they again blew a tekiah, a teruah, and a tekiah. When they reached the floor of the women's courtyard, they again blew a tekiah, a teruah, and a tekiah. They continued blowing as they followed by the people marched across the women's courtyard until they reached the gate at the far end that led out to the east. When they reached the gate that led out from the east of the women's courtyard, they turned their faces to the west so that they faced the sanctuary and they said, Our forefathers stood in this place with their backs to the sanctuary of God facing east, and they bowed eastward toward the sun. But as for us, our eyes are turned toward God. Rabbi Huda says they chanted the following words repetitive, repetitively. We bow down to God, thanking him for what he has done for us in the past, and our eyes are turned toward God, hoping for his salvation in the future. They then proceeded to the Shiloh Spring, where they would draw the water for this mitzvah of for the mitzvah of Nisuch Hamayim.